Okay, Google. Show me my reminders. Check that out. I don't know how focused it is, but this video was long overdue. All right. Um, I really wanted to make this video, and I really couldn't get the chance to. However, now's the time. All right. The Google Pixel 2 was released a few months ago, along with the iPhone 10, and both of them are amazing devices. They have great cameras. In fact, they have the best cameras right now. One feature that they both have, which is amazing that the Pixel 2 can actually do with one camera is the fact that they have this portrait mode. Now this mode basically blurs out every single thing around you except the subject that you're aiming at. This feature is really cool. It's like an upgraded focus and it's just really great and there's a lot of hype about it. And the Pixel 2 being an Android device, people were able to port that camera application to get on other Android devices. Now originally this was only available for Snapdragon devices However, recently we've noticed that Exynos devices seem to partially work, alright? Now when I say partially, let me explain. So I picked up the Galaxy A5 2017. This has an Exynos processor and it's a really good device. It's a mid-range phone which I think is pretty good and I've been using it and I fell in love with it. It has a good camera, not the best, but it's still pretty good. And I'm going to try to get the Google camera on this phone. I have tried it on the LG G6 and it works 100% perfectly fine and I put a list over here. There are a certain list of devices that work 100% fine but I don't know if it will work properly on this because there have been people using it on the S7 Exynos version. They have said that it works partially. Now let's go find out what they mean by this partially. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so basically if everything goes according to plan, you should be seeing my screen right here. So basically there's this XDA developers website that we can go to and if you scroll down, it's a whole post and thread about the Google camera app. And over here, like I said, the LG G6, OnePlus 3, 3T, 5, Galaxy S8 and all those stuff. The Snapdragon version, it's uh, written down uh, just to mention that uh, works perfectly fine. But if you go down here, there's a download button in red download Google Camera Port with HDR Plus and the raw capture and everything. So go ahead and download it. I have gone ahead and already downloaded it and installed the APK file as well. So I already have the application downloaded so let me go ahead and open that up. Alright, there you go. That's the application and basically it's the Pixel app. Just basically the Pixel 2 camera app and we have some extra features like photosphere and lens blur. That lens blur is the portrait mode in Google's terms and I'll put some photos for you guys of examples that I took with this Galaxy A5 which is a mid-range device so it shouldn't even be getting even decent uh, lens blurs but it got some pretty good photos. I was able to get some good photos and unfortunately, remember how I said it partially works? Well I found out that the front facing camera does not work. All right. Now, it says supported HW level front facing camera right here and I have tried messing around with them but as soon as I turn it around and go back, the application just stops and I can't restart it, um, it just crashes again and, the, and I tried restarting it because on the thread it said that when you make a change you need to do a restart. I have tried restarting my device but it did not make any difference. So the only way that I got it to work was by going onto the application and basically, oh, and good thing we also have the hold down the application to get like an extra action. That's pretty cool. And I found out that the only way to fix it after getting the crash is to go to the app info and then just clear the data. And that's just the only fix to it. I know it sucks. So for us Exynos users, we only have the ability to use the rear facing camera. We don't have the front facing camera option yet, uh, but I do believe it's still mighty good and HDR does not work right away you need to go to the settings and you need to find the what do you call HDR support so no HDR plus you can choose one of these you can mess around with them because there's no direct version for your device so you're gonna have to find one from another device and get it to work on yours you're just gonna have to mess around with that that works fine but the fact that the lens blur 
only works on the rear facing camera and the front facing camera completely doesn't work is kind of a bummer but I don't really take selfies either so I'm not hugely concerned about it but there are a lot of you guys who use the front facing camera constantly so for that you're gonna have to use your stock application which works perfectly fine um, alright so that's it for today's video I'm gonna take this away from there um, I just wanted to wrap things up quick the Google camera app is amazing Unfortunately, we will never get the Apple camera app, but the Google camera app, the Pixel 2 camera app is amazing and hopefully soon we will be able to get a working version for Exynos devices and any devices. Um, but for now, if you have a Snapdragon device, you're most likely going to get it to work. And yeah, I'll leave the link in the description if you guys want to check it out. Just wanted to make this video for you guys. Uh, don't worry, got a lot of more videos coming up for you. Eh? Yeah, so for that, stay subscribed. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers, so... With that being said, this is Tech Alpha. See you guys in the next one. Peace.